Hello, welcome back to an another video on uh, Phiaxis Power Mill tutorial. And uh, in this video, we are going to cover uh, one of the uh, best feature available in the Power Mill. It is called uh, Automatic Collision Avoidance. So today we are going to create a four axis tool path uh, for this crankshaft. And what we are going to do is, uh, we are enabling this automatic collision avoidance and uh, this will make you when there is an collision uh, with the holder and the model and it will automatically tilt uh, without any information given by you uh, for the tool axis definition. Okay, so let us create that. So for this, we are using a rotary finishing toolpath uh, strategy actually. It's a very simple one and it can you can able to quickly uh, generate the toolpath actually. So for that, I have a model here and uh, my work plane is set here and z-axis is uh, towards up actually. So tool got selected. Under the rotary finishing uh, strategy, uh, you can put the block uh, broader actually. It is, doesn't matter because we are going to control the uh, tool path uh, using uh, this limit functionality. Okay, so here um, your start point is 99 because you can see that zero is here in the towards X, actually X, it's X limits. And it is saying uh, this flat surface saying you can see here in this uh, status toolbar, it's 105 actually. Okay, so 105. So I put a little bit extra there actually. And uh, if you come this side, it is 115.5 uh, actually. So I put extra there also. So if you want, you can go it exactly, but I will put a little bit extra over there so that I can able to cover the radius part also. Okay, then the next, you have three options. So for this one, I'm selecting spiral. And uh, uh, the offset, Y offset is 4 mm actually. What does that mean actually? So if you look at the center axis here, the center axis, um, if you go and uh, see this uh, in this rotary axis finishing, it selected as automatic, okay? so. Uh, you are not going to do anything with that because it's automatically create a four axis tool path. And uh, and this in this case, Y offset is 4 mm actually. So from the center, uh, I would like to shift 4 mm. So from the top, I can see here. So from the center of this axis, I'm shifting 4 mm so that I can able to uh, match this, uh, match this uh, rotary finishing uh, where the center of the tool, actually center of the tool, will compensate those area also because it's not exactly center. So I would like to go for, you can try with a different value and you can have step over here. As I said here, um, you first I will create with automatic collision avoidance uh, enabled off um, and automatic here actually. So if you go on calculate here, you can get the tool path very quickly. And in this case, uh, if you go and simulate from there, actually, okay, so little bit uh, is put there actually, so it will fine, okay, it looks like fine. So I stop here, then I will slowly move from this one. Okay, so you can see there is a collision is happening here actually, right? So a big collision is happening here. So how to avoid this actually? So we do not have option for rotary because we switch the tool axis is uh, automatic, but still you can uh, able to tilt the work plane by using automatic collision avoidance. This functionality will work you fine. And uh, this will uh, enables uh, collision free tool path if there is any collision between holder and the model actually. So for that, I'm enabling this functionality here. Okay, and you um, and also under the tool axis limits, okay, if you go under here, you can see this is the one it is going and under collision avoidance, I'm saying I need a clearance actually. So for the holder 4mm and the shank is 
one mm actually and my smoothing distance actually based on the radius or the corners you can change here and if you calculate this uh, with the enabling collision avoidance so the tool path will gives you a collision free tool path so if you go on select here so it automatically tilts actually okay so it will tilt its tool path without any collision section so if you go on run here you can see the either end this end and this one it tilts its tool path and makes a collision free tool path actually it's a very useful tool path strategy uh, without uh, working much around in tool axis definition or uh, changing a lead lean or whatever it is it is a uh, uh, work it creates the tool path very fast okay and uh, it gives you an collision free tool path also and the tool path here using is a rotary finishing tool path actually so this is about a four axis tool path uh, enabling automatic collision avoidance so this will enables a collision free tool path where it automatically tilts its tool axis thank you